Lithium with atomic number of three is located in group one of the periodic table with hydrogen and the alkali metals. All the alkali metals react violently with water. Therefore, it has to be stored in mineral oil. Swedish chemist Johan August Arfwitsen in 1817 was credited in discovering lithium. About 82,000 tons are mined each year worldwide. The primary resources of lithium are located in China, Argentina, Chile, Brazil, Australia, and in the United States. Lithium metal is the lightest metallic element on the periodic table. Its density is 0.534 grams per cubic centimeter, while water, on the other hand, is 1 gram per cubic centimeter, making it less dense than water. In fact, it will actually float on top of the water as you will see later in this video. Lithium is a soft, silvery, white metal when freshly cut and can be easily cut with a knife. It is as hard as candle wax. Its hardness is 0.6 on the hardness scale, and compare that with indium, which is 1.2 on the hardness scale. The melting point for lithium is 180.5 degrees Celsius or about 356.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Its boiling point is 1330 degrees Celsius or 2426 degrees Fahrenheit. The metal is primarily used in electronic batteries and in the pharmaceutical world. Even though lithium is considered a toxic metal, however, its salt, such as lithium carbonate, is used in treating bipolar disorder. Here is a small sample of lithium metal and it has to be stored in this vial filled with mineral oil so it doesn't uh, react with the air or the water. With these tweezers you can actually see how easy it is to uh, cut into the lithium metal. It's very very soft. A fingernail can cut into the metal as well. And you can see how real soft it is. I'm not even using any pressure whatsoever. Here I'm using a knife to cut the lithium in half and you can see how easy it is to cut. And when it's freshly cut, it'll be a bright silvery white. However, immediately it's going to start turning gray due to the oxidation of the metal surface. And it usually uh, takes about anywhere from about one to two minutes to have a dark black color coating over the metal. And here you can actually see the color change in real time due to the oxidation and it's forming lithium oxide. And here I'm going to speed it up a little bit and you can see how quickly it changes color from bright shiny white to black. Here I will put a few drops of water on the lithium metal and you can see how active it is as soon as the water touches the metal. What happens is it frees hydrogen gas, and also it forms lithium hydroxide, which is a very strong base. Here I'm going to place a piece of lithium metal in water. And you will note how it floats on the top. The reason why is because lithium is less dense than water. And what's happening here, that white stuff is lithium hydroxide. And the gas that is being released is hydrogen. So if you were to put a small flame there, you're definitely going to see the hydrogen burn. In fact, that's going to be for another experiment. As long as the lithium maintains contact with the water, it will continue to dissolve. Just like you see here, it will get smaller and smaller and smaller until it completely disappears and there'd be nothing but a solution of water and lithium hydroxide.
Also, if you notice that, lithium is also slightly paramagnetic, and it reacts to a neodymium magnet in place near it. And you can see it, how it moves in the vial.